done now. He'll play it. He's midway 22, halfway. His own into the ground. Away to Steve Mortimer. On to Jerry Lamb. Lamb sees an opening. He went between Marquito and Serenan. Gale is chasing. Lamb kicks over the head of Jack. Coming fast is Hagen. Oh, it's touch and go. Off whose hand it came. It's a Balmain hand. It's a line drop out. So it's come off the hand of the defending team, Balmain. And here's Terry Lamb trying things on his own. He saw a bit of a space and he realised that he could push through. There's the kick by Lamb. Then the race was on. And off the hand, I think, of Gary Jack, in fact. And this line drop out into the teeth of the breeze. We'll see Balmain turn around with more pressure. They're trailing 6-0. And there's 19 minutes of the first half to go. The kick coming down to Terry Lamb. He sends Phil Sigsworth towards the enemy. He's tackled just outside the 22. If Canterbury, if Canterbury can't put a try on here in the first two or three tackles, a field goal would be the right tactic. Played by Dunn back to Bugden. Bugden to Tunks. And they're certainly working for what appears a drop goal setup. They're keeping play in the centre of the ground. Played by Bugden. Back to Mortimer. That's the delay they were looking for. But Lamb still has ample amount of time to take a drop goal. And uh, that he does. So Canterbury are leading Balmain by seven points to nil. But it seemed that Terry Lamb was given a heap of time and still he was able to get his kick in. 7-0 in favour of Canterbury.